Mike, you like to twist Matthew chapter 18, using it as a loophole to commit the same offense, over and over again, but let's look at what Jesus said in Luke chapter 17 verse 3. Be on your guard, if your brother sins, rebuke him, and if he repents, forgive him. Let's look at what the Greek word for repent really means. The word Jesus used is metanio, and it means, to repent with regret, accompanied by a true change of heart. Most importantly, it is distinguished from the Greek word for regret, which is metamelami, and means, to regret because of the consequences of one's actions. Since you have committed the same sin over and over again, with somewhere between 15 and 20 documented women, your behavior clearly indicates, regret, not repentance. The fact that some of these women were underage falls into the Matthew chapter 18 verses 6 to 7 category, stating, Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to stumble, it is better for him that a heavy millstone be hung around his neck, and that he be drowned in the depth of the sea. Woe to the world because of its stumbling blocks, for it is inevitable that stumbling blocks come, but woe to that man through whom the stumbling block comes. I have been told that in response to the recent Jane Doe situation, you replied, I'll just hide out in my basement for two or three or four years, and then I'll be back in ministry. You have no idea the depth of the pain you have inflicted, not just on the primary Jane Doe's, but their husbands, who for years sensed but had no understanding of the secret sinister control you held over their wives. Add to that the many friends, who watched with confusion and broken hearts, as lifelong friendships slipped away. And then there are the hundreds of families who fought back, only to be rebuked by their brainwashed loved ones, and to watch as their family became fractured for decades. And let's not forget the many IHOP members who dared to approach you in the biblical example of Matthew chapter 18 verse 15. Those hundreds who were shunned, expelled, had their families threatened, and even lost their jobs, because of the lies perpetrated by you. That covers enough of the history, since Tammy Woods had the strength and bravery to step forward, and not call you, a godly man, as you instructed her to do, but, a liar and a seducer of 14-year-olds, today is a new day. According to Matthew chapter 18 verse 17, to every born-again child of God you are a heathen publican. That's all I have to say to you Mike, your lies that have divided our family for 13 years, and damaged Tammy's marriage for over 30 years, have no more power. The truth has set us free. A few words to the Jane Doe's and IHOP survivors. The door has finally opened for all Jane Doe's and past IHOP victims to step up and tell your stories. I understand that it will be painful for you to recall the horror of the past. My family has suffered the result of Mike's narcissistic control for 44 years. Also, coming forward can be frightening for some of you who have experienced threats against your families. If you are afraid, remember, God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love and a sound mind, 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. Take the hand of Jesus, and walk through this with him one last time. If you abide in my word, then you are truly disciples of mine, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free, John chapter 8 verses 31 to 32. Free, healed from all the abuse, heartache, lies, and broken relations of the past. You are not alone, the Jane Doe's before you have given you a platform to stand on. Just like those individuals, Tammy Woods found the strength to speak out and stop Mike Bickle from hurting any other women. Her bravery is causing many more Jane Doe's to step forward, giving their names and their stories. Together we can stop this narcissistic predator, Jerry Woods, mother of Tammy Woods.